What's going on everybody? Scott with Halo Platform. Just uh, giving you a little walkthrough here of how to set up your master nodes on the Halo Platform once we are live. So what I am, or what's going on right now, is I am logged into the Halo Platform into Featherlight. Um, you can see here that uh, my bar is green, which means I'm logged in to the platform with my master account. Um, I am doing this on our QA network, which is a private development network just for Halo. So anything I do here is not on mainnet and some things may have a quirky response or not finish 100% because this is QA and we have some things that are kind of stubbed out to go through the process, but this will, this is probably 99% functional up to the point of actually launching a real master node. So here we go. Um, First off, when you get in, you're going to be in your uh, wallet, and this is assuming that you've already imported your account, so you can you know, click Import Featherlight or ICO Account if you haven't done that yet. <clears throat> but to set up your master node, your bar must be green, and what you want to do is pick the account that you're going to fund your master nodes from. So this star right here means it's your Halo Prime account, which is your default account. At the moment, starting from a master node can only happen from your Halo Prime account. So if you happen to have multiple accounts with different funds in them and you want to use them, then you can go through and you know make this one your Halo Prime and that's what it'll default to. In a revision coming up, we will um, allow you to actually select from the different accounts in the master node contract, but at the moment that's on a, that's like a next revision. So what you need to do though is click right here to unlock the account so your account must actually be unlocked to um, to make a transaction out of otherwise it's locked then i'm going to go here so you can see i already have a pre-funded account with 32,500 halo and it is unlocked so i'm gonna so if you do it from here, it's going to pop up. This is our Halo part of our Halo JS right here. This is what allows the platform to communicate with the blockchain and allow our dApps to communicate with each other. So this is uh, kind of like MetaMask or other things. This is a basically signing a transaction or making an action, and it's notifying me, hey, I'm taking an action on your account, um, or a dApp is taking an action on your account. Do you agree to it? And so that way nothing can happen without you agreeing and confirming it. So I'm going to confirm unlocking that account. Then I go here to master nodes. Um, some of the things here you guys won't see, like this admin is just testing. Um, this screen here is blank because it defaults to the monitoring page, which I have no master nodes. So there's nothing to monitor right now. If I had master nodes up there would be stuff there we are creating another default landing page that's going to have some other type of statistics you know master nodes divided by the over the tiers um, stuff like that so let's get started you will click here on master nodes and you'll click add contract that may say create new master node we're just going to reword a couple things here and it's going to give you two options <clears throat> manually add or provision new Manually add is if you want to watch a separate master node that maybe isn't yours or maybe is a friend's or something. For some reason, you want to watch the address of a master node, but you can't take any action on it because you're not an owner. Here, we are going to do provision new. So I'm going to start. So then all of a sudden, the master node screen pops up. <clears throat> we have two options, solely owned and multiple owner. Solely owned basically means that you own 100% of the funds and you're going to fund it by yourself. Multiple owner means that you're going to fund it from multiple sources. So let's click on that just to see what happens. Click there. We click next. Public or private. If you click on private, it means that you own or you know the people that you're going to join together with and allows for tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four. You do need to know their address that they're going to be donating from or contributing from, and you need to know how much they're, they want because it is going to check for all of that stuff. So I'm not going to do a private one right now. If you click on public, it's only available for tier one, tier two. Uh, so let me go back actually to the ownership and I'm going to do a solely owned one first just to get through this part. 
So it is private because you can't have a solely owned public master node with multiple owners because it's a solely owned. Here, you're going to create an alias, which is what you call this master node. So that way in your list of master nodes, it's easily defined. So I'm going to say Halo Platform Master Node 1. Um, private, I can select Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4. So let's start up a Tier 4 because I had like 32,500 Halo. All right, I'm going to click Next. Self-hosted or cloud-hosted. This will actually say Halo-hosted here coming up. Uh, Self-hosted means you're going to start up your VPS, run it yourself. You're going to install Glow and do some other syn synchronization things um, to run the master node on your own. Cloud-hosted means that Halo platform will host the node for you. We guarantee uptime, we guarantee updates, upgrades, and there is no tech skill involved. So let's look at this one. So we selected cloud-hosted, clicking Next. All right, it says here, here's my alias, Halo Platform Masternode 1 tier, 7,500. Sole owner, private, yes, means I'm the only one. Hosted by Halo, anonymous, no. Anonymous contracts for uh, smart contracts, we don't have it turned on yet. We will have those turned on here shortly. So it's coming down right here, it's saying server IP address. This is defaulting to 192.168.0.1. Uh, which is just the default because we're on QA network. So it's not actually provisioning a master node or a VPS. If this was, it would actually be generating a different IP address for the specific master node we're starting. Um, actually, it would, wouldn't populate until a little bit later. So funding address is my account zero, which is my Halo Prime. Contribution 7500 Halo, which you can see right here. I'm 100% funded. I click next. So all of a sudden, the Halo JS pops up again and says, hey, you are going to send 7,500 Halo from my Halo Prime account to this smart contract. You can click more details if you'd like. It does have a gas value here. So Halo platform does not charge any transaction fees. We still calculate gas spent for smart contracts and other transactions to stop and eliminate any, pos any uh, smart contracts from doing loops and stuff like that. So, but there is no cost for gas. Gas is free. Uh, I click confirm saying, yes, I want to do it. And then the master node contract uh, interface here pops up and says, hey, you're doing a one owner tier four. Here's your contract address. Here's your address. Confirm it. I'm going to confirm it. Successfully created a new master node contract. All right. So you can see here over here now, Halo platform master node one pops up with a little... Uh, uh, time thing <laughs> drawn a blank on it sorry guys so let me click on monitoring and you can see it's popped up here now in this screen that was blank <clears throat> so I'm gonna click manage so here's my contract for it private the IP address the date I started it it's the uh, since it didn't actually start it defaults to some random time and the last ping which is basically what it says I have for a uh, it's the health checks to tell us whether or not your master node is actually up. The status just says deposited because being that we're on the QA network, we're not actually starting up the master node. Once the master node started up, it would just say alive. And here, balance zero. This balance is here to show that I have no rewards sitting in my master node. You do have to withdraw your master node rewards, which is right up here. As they earn, it doesn't auto pay them out to the owned address. They just store it in the smart contract, and then you have to withdraw them out of the smart contract. That's not withdrawing your collateral. That's just withdrawing your balance. So we have that started up. Let's go back in now, back to monitoring and it's right here and we will go back in let's start up another one so we're going to provision new let's do a multiple owner multiple owner okay and let's do a public and i'm going to call this halo public tier one and obviously because i'm cool i'm going to select tier one to match it up with that hit next when you do a multiple owned master node Cloud hosting is your only option. Cloud hosting is your only option because in a multiple owned, especially in a public one, no one person has control over your VPS or the master node itself, meaning they can't turn it off, in which case after 48 hours of being turned off, the master node is actually canceled in our list. And then all the collateral is returned. So here it's here. 
Uh, hosting with Halo costs $19.99 a month. That amount is actually automatically deducted from your rewards based on the price of Halo at the time of payout for the rewards, or at the time that they're distributed out to the smart contracts. So when it's cloud hosted, you literally have nothing to do other than sit there and withdraw your funds. So I'm going to click next. <clears throat> Halo Public Tier 1. It's 500 Halo, ownership multi, no, hosted by Halo, anonymous, no. So here, this private went to no because it's a public. And again, the IP address is the default. This is my address from here. And I want to, I only have 250 Halo, so that's what I want to contribute. You must contribute into denominations of 10. Um, if you attempt to do anything other than a multiple of 10, then you'll actually get an error here. So let's do, once again, 250. So I went over, 2,509 is a little bit over what's uh, required, so we can't do that. Uh, let's do, again, 250. And you can see as I change this, this little bar, just uh, graphically wise, updates and shows how much I have. All right, let's click uh, next. And once again, Halo JS pops up, it says, hey, you're gonna send. I click confirm, I wanna do that. Let's confirm setting this up. You successfully started. So now, theoretically, that should pop up into the uh, marketplace. Once again, though, this is just our QA network, so it's not fast. Um, it uh, may not actually pop up for a little bit just because it's the QA network. But we have one in here. Oh, there they go. They all popped up. So the alias name that I did uh, is only stored for me. So the contract address here publicly to other people just shows as the smart contract address or the, uh, the address for that master node, not what I typed in because we don't want people typing in stuff that we don't want to have publicly displayed to other people. So now let's say you want to join a public master node. Let's just go through. So this one is a, let's see, we have a tier two. Let's see, I want to join this one here. So this one is committed 640 out of 1,000. It's a tier two. Uh, my funding address here, let's, um, let's finish this one then. And let's say I can do math. If I do 360, join contract, confirm, popped up. I'm popping up. You have joined this contract. So now this shows 100% funded. It's no longer able to be joined because I'm joined in it. But let's see here. It most likely does not going to take the next step. But you can see here that uh, this one's pending also still. Let's go to our monitoring page. Oh, look here. It is tier two. This is the public one. It's showing up here. It shows that it's fully deposited. And I can go in here and change the alias to um, public joined uh, T21. <clears throat> and I believe that should stay there. So once again, balance is zero. It's a couple things here that need to update once the contract actually were to launch. Public join T21. And we go back to our monitoring. And now it's there. So let's see here, manage. Oh, see now it's saying initializing, it moved forward from deposited to initializing. So the system is attempting to move it forward. It does take a little bit of time for the master nodes to actually provision. So let's go now and click on uh, public T once. Oh, now it's moved forward. So the reason why the contract address changed is because initially it's just a, a pending master node and now that it's initializing it is an actual master node so those are separate smart contracts that transfer the funds between them uh, especially like the public joined and stuff like that so those are all started up so everything is looking good here i've got three master nodes put up uh, this one again is just kind of a little stubby information because it's not uh, moving forward necessarily so let's go through let's do one more process here. So let's do multiple owner next. And let's do a private. So let's do a private with, uh, let's just say with, uh, you know, with Shannon, who is our lead developer. So master node tier, we can pick any tier. Um, we'll go tier four again, self-hosted. The uh, self-hosted option here, uh, 
will be coming off before you guys see it, so you won't see that part there. And private with Shannon, multi-owner. So you can see here the IP, once again, my funding address. But now you have these additional funding things. So I'm contributing 50 Halo to this, uh, which again, 0.67. And then you have to know your friend's address. So I don't really know Shannon's address. You've, uh, or pretending I'm due. This is his address. I'm going to put 0x000. And Shannon is contributing 7,000. Oh, well, we're short. So you know, then we go find another friend that says, hey, I have some too. <clears throat> so then we are 450 short. Bam, now we have enough Halo. So I can click Next. Now what happens here? is when I click next, this smart contract, which is a pending master node contract, is then expecting these addresses to send this amount to, to, this, uh, to the next address, which will be the address for this smart contract. So I hit next. Again, I have to confirm my sending of that. So here's the contract address, okay? You need to send this contract address to your friends they will then have to send from their address the amount that you told the contract to expect. If they send from a different address or they don't send enough, uh, well, if they don't send enough, they can send more. But if they send from a separate address, then you're going to have an issue and you're going to have to restart this contract by canceling out the current one, which will refund all the money or all the halo back to each of the owners that was in there and uh, start over because you put in the wrong address. I'm going to click Confirm. All right, so now we have private Shannon. So it says it's still initializing, so it's still getting in there. And again, private uh, zero. So now what this one is waiting for is it's waiting for the rest of the funds from uh, the other two people. Once the funds are all in it, that contract will then move forward to being an actual master node. All right. So once again, let's just go ahead and spend some more Halo real quick. Uh, let's see here. Let's join, let's join this one. Let's see, let's uh, put in the other 250, just because I love buying master nodes. Let's see, confirm, bam, I've joined. Pending orders. Pending orders would be if you want to sell a portion of your master node, which I don't know if is going to be live on the QA net. Uh, let's see here. Mm, I don't think that'll work, but let's go ahead and this is a separate thing. This is like if I want to cancel and I know this doesn't work on QA net. Yeah, little issue right there. So that part doesn't work on QA net necessarily because it, um, it hasn't actually started. So yeah, that'll be fixed before you guys are working before you guys get a hold of this. Let's see. So that's it. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. We'll go back to my wallet. Uh, I spent a lot of my Halo. So uh, transactions will be coming in here shortly. And that's it. I appreciate everybody watching this. If you have any other questions, please get with us and enjoy your day.